Hey guys, you were given a plan like this, like a PDF or something that is not even clear. Or maybe something you saw on the internet and you want to trace it again on Archicad. Or you don't really know how to go about it. This is where Trace Reference plays a big part in this particular video. I've done a video like this before, but I think I need to throw more light on Trace Reference. So if you're new here, kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button, so you don't miss videos like this. So first thing first, all you need to do is import the PDF or whatever it is. It could be image, it could be PDF, it could be a sketch, but whatever it is, just import it. Okay, you go to file and you go to external content, then you place join. Okay, this is the join we were going to place and just place it anywhere on your layout. Okay, or you might just have to go and create this first from your worksheet. Go to your worksheet, right click on it, click this new independent uh, worksheet and then give it a name. You say trace reference one or you say ref, ref one, just in case you're bringing in multiple stuff and then you say zero one. All right, and quit. Now, this is your ref1. Now, this image, this um, object, I think it's a PDF. This PDF we have placed here. Instead of importing it here, we just go here and do that, which we did. But if you have this, just like this, okay? You can just place here like so on the worksheet, okay? If you have done it here already, all you need to do is control and X to cut it and go to your worksheet and paste it, control and V to paste it. It's still the same thing, all right? So the next thing we do is we try to scale it. As you can see from this plan, he used the wall. So we'll just assume that this wall is 225 or we can follow this particular dimension, okay? This one here, can scale it with this particular dimension. So what you do is select, just in case you didn't see any dimension, you can just guess on your own what the thickness of something will be like or by default what the thickness would be so you can scale it with that. If you think, if there is no dimension and just wall, you can just scale this to um, 225 like this. Select it and you click this, okay, resize and just say okay and this, click here, okay. And click the ne the end the next point. As you can see, it is it came as three two three seven two. So you click it and then scale it back. Just type your two two five, okay, and say okay. So now this the entire wall right now thickness is two two five, okay. It might not be exactly two two five, but around two two five. Okay, there, there will be definitely some discrepancies. And then let's check this 2.49 if it is around that dimension. As you can see, it's around 2.48, so we are correct. Okay, so if you're not scaling it with your uh, wall, you're scaling it with a dimension you see on the join. Now, having done this, this is our ref image that that we have created on the worksheet you go to your ground floor where you are going to be drawing your wall okay on the ref on the worksheet we can't draw any wall there it's here you can draw your ground floor which is this and then we start tracing but before we do we can't see we can't even see uh, that image here you need to just turn it on okay you won't still see it because you need to go and set it up then you go to the settings here and choose reference. As you can see, what is active is below current story. It means the story below this story. If it is, if you choose this, it will means the story above. But for now, this is the blank, this is the new page and there is no, nothing above or nothing below. What we are looking for, it's this reference image we created, the reference sheet we created. So from here, we say browse for trace reference just click this and go down to your worksheet and select this one you just created and say okay now you can see it right here it's showing but sometimes you might turn it on okay and you you can you won't see it at this point okay you might be seeing it somewhere around there all you need to do is maybe fit to you know fit to window it would it would take you it will zoom 
around where something is showing. Okay. So you might just, when you, when you zoom to window, it will take you around. If this object is here, let's shift it for now. Okay. As you can see at this origin, if you go to the ground floor now, you see that it's around the same point. So if this is somewhere around here, If you see somewhere around here, you go to our ground floor, as you can see. As you can see, so if you click this, fit a window, you would see it, you, it will zoom to the extent of where any object is, as you can see. If we shift this one here now, it will zoom to this particular image. If you shift this one here, let's do that. Go to our reference image and put it here go to the ground floor and say this fits in window as you can see so it will show you where this one is so it's important that you on your worksheet you put it around this here origin here okay so it will just take you there direct okay at this point so that's it and then the next thing we do is we start tracing. Okay. When you start tracing, you just select your wall. Let's check the settings. Okay. And two to five. Okay. Activate this, make it white or something. Okay. So. We start tracing, okay, like this. So you can go ahead and trace. Let me just trace. I'm not tracing everything. I'm just going to trace some parts. I want to show you something. Let's end it here. And then we suspend our group and close this part here. Um, haven't done this. We are not seeing our windows or door mark. Okay. There are windows here and we can't see it. So what you need to do is go to your trace reference and turn this on. Okay. When you turn that on, you would see your mark. Okay. Like this is it here. You turn it off. This transparent fill and zone. So, okay. So that you can see the mark of your window or whatever you need to see. Okay. You turn it on. You can see the window mark and our, our, our wall. You can still see it. Okay. So that way you will know where your window is and you can easily place your window like so and extend it to the mark. Okay. Now that's it. And just in case you want to move um, your reference and you don't want to move it uh, from the worksheet, you can just say drag reference. Okay. Like so. I'm very sure there is a reset. Reset to default position, okay? So when you reset it to default position, it goes back to where it was before. And you can easily also go use this tra uh, trace and reference from here, okay? You can drag like so, okay? And you can also rotate, okay? You can also rotate like so. You can reset after rotating and you can rebuild reference just in case you updated your image in your worksheet. Okay. And you can switch, switch reference with active. Okay. You can see. And then here you can change the reference color. You can fade it if you think it's too bright, like so. Okay. You can change the activeness of your, 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 your wall. Okay. You can see. 
and this here you can change the color okay so i think this explains to an extent how to use a reference okay that is not only with above current story and below current story so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye bye